when you look at both paintings it feels that they are the same but really if you look closely you will see that they are really not similar there is such a difference in between them but I'm gonna walk you through my creative process my painting process today tell you what to avoid how things can be changed improved and looking better this tutorial is for beginners for those who are not practicing much art but they really wish to try I invite you to try paint papers uh, q-tips and that's it really oh and a paintbrush so I hope you will join me and stay for today's uh, crafting session let's have fun together Hello, hello everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Marta here and in today's video we are going to be doing something super easy, super pretty for everyone, for beginners, for those who maybe are not that crafty but they really wish to try something. Uh, so I think this tutorial will be perfect. All you need is some paint, some brush and paint uh, and paper. <laughs> I'm using watercolors and I have watercolor paper but you can definitely try and attempt that without watercolor papers because uh, this is all about having fun today and not necessarily being stressed over the tools that we are using. We're gonna build the background first like a sky maybe like a night sky so I'm, I'm I just added water to my to my sky <laughs> sky colors which is here I added water to this blue and purple because that's what I would love to have and you see as you can see I am mixing and matching all nice and pretty I don't want this to be too dark um what's next maybe this gorgeous pink and because I wet in my page beforehand it is all nice and easy to blend in together so I invite you to try that it's very easy and now let's see some yellow maybe at the end I think it would be nice to have some yellow maybe in this pink oh wow it's like this peachy color I think I think it's stunning like that so I'm gonna leave this to dry no not no, we're not gonna leave this to dry let's try this quickly <laughs> my page is dry my background is dry and I have this sketch gorgeous sketch that I did today earlier today and I was hoping to attempt this uh, drawing today and I have uh, earbuds q-tips and these are gonna be for our dress I think it's gonna be super idea super cool thing to instead of drawing a dress uh, with some lines and pretending dress material we're gonna do spots and I think it's gonna be gorgeous not easy to uh, draw ballerina this is my first attempt and to be honest uh, it's 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 a you know errors and trials but I invite you to try I invite you to look at my sketch look at what I'm gonna be doing now and let's hope that we're gonna do something pretty now it's uh, not that easy but it, on the other hand look guys we are not here to um, become uh, you know we, we're here to have fun so I really really hope you uh, you will just try your hand at drawing and if she's gonna be wonky like you know what let it be that's perfectly fine she doesn't have to be um, <laughs> you know perfect we're here oh her calf I think we're here to have a little bit of fun and I think this is a nice um, this is a nice idea to draw a little ballerina I always wanted it but it was like kind of I don't know just was not happening and I thought then I thought oh this could be nice so I really thought that this dressy thing oh look could be fun to try and attempt why not you know we are here to really try and you have to try with me promise me that you are actually now trying you have to promise me that you are now grabbing your tools grabbing your <laughs> uh, grabbing your uh, pencils and you are actually painting drawing your ballerina with me so I'm trying to make her breast. <laughs> Do you know what? This is um, this is just something we have to overcome. A fear of the not being perfect. A little bum bun 
Bonbon. Bon. <laughs> I hope you can see her here. I think she has a little bit of wonky back, as in she looks nearly like she's um, not really okay, but look, it's just to try today and to really overcome your fears. We have all kinds of fears that, oh, we're not gonna, it's not gonna work out, or it's okay, look, I'm not gonna make any, I'm not gonna make any, um, what's the word, uh, fingers, she's fingerless. <laughs> and you know what, now we're gonna do, we're gonna try to uh, paint her in black, but to do so I, I want you to know that we're not gonna paint the whole ballerina black. We're gonna we're gonna leave this part unblacked, no black, because we are gonna be adding the 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 buds, the, the, the color of things. So we don't need her to be fully black. I'll show you. Follow me and I'll show you what I what I mean by that. So we are gonna be painting gently coloring in what we've done here and you know what if it's um if it's your worst thing that's okay you the worst that can happen is that you try it again and you just do it again and it works you know the worst is that you throw it away and start over but that's not bad that's okay you can do that Okay, I can, I can live with live with that hair looking this way. That's fine with me. Oh, and this as well, her back and all, slightly smaller. And maybe her, her head as well, a bit smaller. Well, her, her at least her, her um, what's the word? Her, uh, neck, 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 neck. I'm using the cheapest paints, guys. The cheapest paints I have in my store. In my store. <laughs> I don't have them in the store. In my stock, in my studio. So any school school paints would work. Any school paints of your kids, of your own. This, this project is for kids, for adults, for everyone, guys. You just have to try it and believe me. And it is so much fun. So, oh, this handy is a bit too big. But do you know what? Who cares? As in, it's fine. The worst is to start, and I think it's very um, difficult when we're watching this amazing tutorials. I know it for myself. I feel totally intimidated by seeing those amazing works that I feel that I cannot attempt. So I hope that this will give you some courage that you can actually try. Because I'm not a professional painter, but I just enjoy making those things. Okay, we have our <laughs> ballerina pretty much ready when it comes to being black and all. Let's try being um, that we have there in shadow so let's try that okay I think she's super pretty to be honest and I have those earbuds a uh, q-tip q-tip q-tips q-tips Tips, ah, doesn't matter. And I have the paper one, so I invite you to look for the paper one next time. These are much more eco friendly than the plastic ones. And I have been warned by you guys, you said it to me that it's such a waste of my previous projects, such a waste of earbuds, and that you know that they are not environmental friendly. And I was like, Yeah, it's actually so true. Oops, that's okay. Um, oh, we didn't do any white over. Let's do some white over. Two seconds. And this is what I have. I just covered it all. And I'm going to be using a Tipex. You know, Tipex for school. So easy. So I'm going to be using that. I love using mm, Tipex. You can also use um, spray like that, Delusion, for example. Oh, let's see which is better, actually. This or that. So. You can uh, use white acrylic diluted with a oh with a little bit of water. Okay, since I started this, <laughs> oopsie, I may as well finish. <laughs> and let me grab the Q, uh, the Tipex, and let's see. And Tipex would also see it would also work. It makes smaller things, but it does work. Okay, so let's start uh, playing around because this is the, the the nicest part I think okay oh 
there we go so now I'm gonna take those and let's start adding which color we're gonna start off maybe this gorgeous pink pinkish red it's like pinkish red oh, this is it I think I added a bit too much there but you know what I just will oh there we go fixed there we go fixed mm-hmm there we go oh, I love that okay this one 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 color down <laughs> let's see this one. Oh, that's so cute now so so cute there we go I left a little bit too little pla the pl space there in between that's okay we're gonna still add some more colors and it will all be good let's see I hope you are joining I hope you joined me I hope you are having fun with me right now I really do because that's the thing you have to start and try okay a bit of blue oh this is so cool I mean so cool yellow let's try some yellow we need some more water Marta so I'm spraying just just water nothing <laughs> there's nothing special about this bottle that I'm holding it's just water oh there we go oh that's so nice that is so nice mm-hmm okay cute now we need some pink I guess maybe pretty pink like that yay there we go right right away better a bit brighter I guess or this pink is cute oh yes there we go nice I love that and so simple come on you have to admit it it is so simple like so simple and very satisfying <laughs> dotty dot dotty dot okay go crazy guys go crazy with the colors and what you're adding why not um what else maybe this pink all my paints I had so much water added oh nice that mm-hmm oops Uh oh that's okay some paints didn't drain between but that's fine I'm thinking to add a little like as if things are like gently falling off her skirt nearly you know like like touches really touches that it's so nice and delicate and all Um, some other color maybe this purple actually Mm hmm I used this purple maybe the darker one I haven't used it yet I think you can go crazy with the colors really okay I think I did use the dark one now that I'm looking <laughs> okay I think I'm gonna go back to that beautiful blue I really love that blue and I think I could use more of that oh there we go hmm nice I'm gonna go back to where I did my blue before because things dried in between time but I really think I wish to focus on making sure that uh, the dots are kind of more visible you know so repeating on the ones that maybe didn't go quite exactly as I planned it's okay you can repeat and it's fine oh wow <laughs> I really think it's so pretty so stunning so 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 stunning I hope you like it Wow Wow okay we are nearly done guys sadly we are nearly done so I hope you are painting with me if not uh, you you have to try it or at least promise to me to yourself you will try it next time later on or something okay um, I think it would be so nice to add some little title to you know what instead of doing uh, instead of doing title I'm just gonna go with some date 
and that's it. At least I'll know for next time if I attempt one more time. I will see. I will know how I did it, how I made it, and have I improved anything. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up with that. Oh wait, we have to take off the 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 side the tape. Now I give you a trip, a tip, a trick. Heat it up your tape. It will be much easier to take it off, and you're not gonna tear off the paper. But please do not burn yourself, guys. Please, please watch out where the hot stream is. Mm -hmm. This is so satisfying, actually. Okay, one more. There we go. You can use hair dryer, guys, actually, if you wish. Now, I'm going to show you something because I think it's worth to show you. Before I recorded this one, I've done a little trial uh, just to see. And to be honest, it just didn't work out, the composition and all. But you know what? I'm here to show you that practice makes perfect. So I hope you can see and take a note from that. Uh, it's a little bit too high as in, uh, well, this one is high too, but she's more into... She's not, she has at least hands long enough, which this one was so high that I couldn't make hands long enough. Uh, she's much fatter, I'm sorry for uh, saying that, but as in she's bigger, thicker, and everything just, it, she looks, looks just wrong in a way. I think her, her, her <laughs> body here. Then um, the angle of the dress as well, if you have a look properly, you can have a dress like that, but if you're ballerina and if you're aiming towards jumping and making a pose, you kind of wish for your dress to go kind of different angle and lastly uh, the top was a bit too dark so you couldn't really see my ballerina which here I didn't do this mistake now and made a little bit more yellow and I think in just one more trial it's such a difference I, I do see the difference and I hope you can see that too I'm not saying it's that bad but I did improve here only after second trial, learning from my mistakes that I have done here. And I have, I have no problems, I'm not ashamed to show you my mistakes, my trials, so you can improve, you can be better, and I encourage you to try. So thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, if you found it inspirational. It really, really means so much. It means so much to me, to all YouTube community sharing their videos. And also, uh, if you let me know in the comment section, do you like it? Did you enjoy it? Did you have fun? There are so many ballerinas on the YouTube. <laughs> there are so many beautiful uh, paintings you can try on. There isn't any with the Q-tips uh, with the earbuds, so that's great. I hope I'm bringing you something new and fresh uh, that I haven't seen with the with the little buds. So thank you so much. Have fun painting, and I'll talk to you super very soon. Bye. I love you loads, but I really have to go. Bye bye.